Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about how do you start a conversation? So both online and offline. So if you are in your network marketing business, then uh, you know, you'd like to know you'll be connecting with new people. So we'll be talking about a conversation with a stranger, not with your friends and family members that we'll be covering in a separate video. But today's discussion is about how do you start a conversation with uh, you know, a stranger? Let's say you are out and about, you, you know, met someone um, you know, at a shopping mall or a superstore, um, or you are having kind of, uh, you, know, you are sitting next to each other on a bus. So we, everyday basis, we meet new people or we come across new people, okay? Now, during this lockdown time, we, uh, we know that uh, you know, one-to-one -one physical kind of interaction and meeting with new people was a bit of a restricted, but slowly we are again, you know, going back and, you know, uh, things are opening up. Uh, and uh, so how do you connect with, uh, you know, those uh, people physically? Then we'll discuss about how do you connect with uh, people online, okay? So that, that means you are connecting with someone on Facebook, LinkedIn, um, uh, you know, you have someone's uh, WhatsApp number you are messaging. So we'll talk about those aspects of connecting someone online as well. How do you start a conversation? So let's deep dive into how do you start? So let me share my screen and then we will go through the quick kind of pointers here. So now you see, how do you start a conversation with a stranger or online and offline? Okay, so now let's um, understand what is or who is a stranger. So stranger is a person you haven't yet met or you haven't yet started to build a relationship and rapport with that person, okay? That's a stranger. So that means the people who you know already right now in your uh, you know, connection or contact list, probably you already, you, you met them somewhere, okay? So we all born one day, you know, came out of our mother's womb, uh, we didn't know anyone. The first person probably hopefully we met is your, your mom or our, our parents and then other people. And so everyday basis, we meet uh, people. So that means uh, you know, whoever we think that they are friends today, once upon a time, they were all strangers to us, okay? So that means, uh, you know, people or the friends who we haven't yet met, they are called the strangers. Okay, so now how do you connect with them? How do you start a conversation with an intention? Because why do you start a conversation? Well, yes, back of the mind, you think that, okay, once I become a friend, okay, this is very important, that once I become a friend with someone, then how do I talk to that person about my business, okay? So first is the friendship and then the business, okay? First is the rapport relationship and then comes the business, okay? So first you give before you take, okay? So that's, that's uh, you know, an amazing uh, amazing concept, which I'm just reading a book uh, called Give and Take as well. It's an amazing book that I, uh, you know, understood few concepts from that book as well. So let's now um, understand that before you start a conversation, this is very important, before you start a conversation, the mindset, what you need to have, uh, uh, you know, it plays a very important role, mindset. What does that mean? So that means, uh, you know, physically, if you want to do something, you know, before you do anything physically, mentally, mind comes first. So that means, uh, you have to make sure that your mental state, your attitude, what should be the attitude, what should be mindset that, you know, it has to be very clear. So mindset is not to talk to anyone, okay, um, you know, uh, about the business, okay, your mindset is not, okay, this person is going to join my business, it will be my downline or my customer. So you do not think that way, okay, that's extremely important. And when you have that thought process, then you may be panicking. Okay, you don't don't want to do that. Okay, because you are not looking for every Tom, Dick, and Harry. So you are looking for the people who are identical or who match with your mindset, thought process, who can be a part of your uh, business community or which who can uh, who can be your uh, customer as well. Okay, so not everyone and uh, you know in this world uh, you know will be your customer or business partner that's very important okay so mindset is i want to uh, say someone hello okay i want to start a conversation with someone okay i don't know where this conversation will lead me to but my objective is to start a conversation that is the mindset okay 
And the second uh, concept of how do you develop a mindset or a positive mindset and you overcome the fear is by self-talk, okay? So I remember, I know until now as well, if I'm talking to anyone, I'm going to talk to anyone, um, then I do an internal self-talk, okay? What is a self-talk, you know? You talk about, okay, every day, I, I meet a sharp and ambitious people. People are joining in my business or, uh, you know, every day I uh, meet new people and uh, people are just uh, lining up to get started as my downline. So this is self-talk. When you talk, okay, so what you do is you manifest. So that means uh, you're just sending some vibration into the universe, okay? And the whole universe, uh, you know, uh, acts on your favor of whatever you want to manifest, it acts uh, in such a way to manifest that, okay? So, but you will instantly, you now take my word for it, you will instantly see the difference in your own attitude when you, uh, you know, talk uh, the, the things what you want, the way you want it, okay? So that's very important, okay? So self-talk is a, you know, amazing tool all of us uh, have in our toolbox to use it for in our own business, personal life, uh, professional life, everywhere. Okay, so that's quite important. It's self-talk. So, um, so I would suggest that to have a, you know a bit of a self uh, you know affirmation or self-talk before even you are going to uh, physically talk or you know even on, off off online as well if you are talking to anyone have a self talk okay let that attitude be there that okay i am going to help someone okay so in the self talk just include that statement that i'm helping people okay in uh, you know uh, every day i'm meeting sharp and ambitious people and i am helping them showing them a way showing them a path uh, to change their lives to have them time and money and security so that is what the benefits, what our, your business offers. You know, you are offering the same thing and you are thinking about that person and doing a self-talk for that person. So that is very, very powerful, okay? So now let's move on to appearance. Okay? Extremely important is your appearance. That is physical. We, are talk, uh, we spoke about mental. Now we'll talk about physical things, what you need to uh, take care of, okay? Appearance, uh, you know, if you are um, out and about, uh, you know, it always uh, very, very important, even if you are online as well, even if you are sitting in front of your computer, in front of your webcam or your laptop and talking to someone on Zoom call, but it's very important that how would you dress up, okay? So if you dress up shabbily, okay, you will always have the attitude, uh, you know, or you will not have a self-esteem. Uh, which is at par or may not be at par with that other person. But when you dress yourself up, that means you are, uh, you know, feeling confident, okay? So uh, it's uh, definitely you know, the way you dress, um, you know, has an impact on your attitude, on your mindset, okay? This is all interlinked, okay? So first thing is dressing culture. So dress sharp, dress, uh, you know, smart, okay? So you must be wondering, okay, I'm going for a shopping in my local superstore. And why should I dress uh, smart? Okay, now you are dressing smart not for the other person, but you are dressing for smart or for yourself, for you to have a better self image. Okay, not for anybody else, but for yourself. So that is where it's extremely important that you dress up. Okay, now I know for ladies as well. You know, um, I have seen and I've spoken to my wife as well. She also talk, talks about that when she puts lipstick on and she dress up really well as well. Uh, you know, her attitude also, you know, uh, increases dr dramatically, okay, so self-confidence uh, goes up, so I think it's it's for both ladies and guys, it acts the same way, so when you you feel good, uh, look good about yourself, you know, um, you will have a different attitude, uh, you know, about the world and about yourself, okay, appearance, and then the next thing about appearance is uh, another thing you wear, which is uh, wearing a smile on your face, okay, so that means wearing a coat or you know suit, you know, it doesn't require you to uh, wear a coat and suit and tie and uh, you know uh, dress uh, that much up. But uh, you know smartly dressed uh, is, is good. But more important than that is uh, wearing a smile on your face. That means having a smile, okay, uh, on your face. That is uh, you know contagious. You know what does that mean? So that means when you smile at someone, it will never happen that the other person will not smile you back. Okay. Hardly it will ever happen. Okay, have you ever noticed? You know, you look at a baby and the baby smiles at you, and what happens? You know, suddenly you smile back at the baby as well. Okay, that's where the baby they say that you know they spread the joy all over the world. 
because they don't have any any worries and they smile at everyone you know that's 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 how the reciprocity you know happens and that is where you know uh, when you smile at someone that means you are feeling good about that other person you are giving something okay when you give yourself something then reciprocity the law of reciprocity happens and then that person wants to give back to you okay and that is called smiling back at you okay so it's very very important that having a smile even they say that when you are talking to anyone on the phone as well i know somehow if you smile and that person could hear that you know even if you are smiling you're okay you are not laughing you are smiling that doesn't have a sound but that person could hear your smile as well that means that feeling you know gets transmitted across okay that's very very important okay it gives you confidence as well and it breaks the barriers okay if somebody is a grumpy looking person you know when when uh, you know you smile at that person what happens you know every every all the barriers uh, you know breaks so that's very important that smiling having a smile on your face okay the next thing is establishing the connection now physical mental thing we discussed now is the time for action that means you are you you know met someone for example we are talking about uh, somebody uh, physically an uh, offline you know you uh, you met someone okay and then you broke the barrier that means you just smile at someone you have a eye contact you smile at someone uh, you may be asking okay if i do not smile or, or that person uh, you know uh, doesn't look into my eyes then what okay that's also fine so what you do is uh, you know you have to uh, in that case uh, see how you can create a bit of interruption okay or interruption means what okay so interruption means uh, you know when you are let's say you know out and about you know let's say you are in a party you know having an interruption okay uh, just uh, uh, asking that person about um, hey you know let's for example in a party hey do you uh, are you a friend of this guy if you are in a birthday party okay recently you know last week and i was in a birthday party i was trying to connect with me uh, people there at the birthday party okay new people okay so what did i do okay my my son was there you know he was he was in the party and there were other parents there and i said okay hey uh, you know the, my i am here for a party and my son is so and so uh, and uh, um, how about you you know your son or the daughter uh, you know probably you know is uh, he or she is here uh, your parent of who um so then that person okay uh, you know i am uh, the dad or i am the mom of this uh, uh, person that person so we started a conversation so it's very very important that uh, you know you break the ice okay how do you break the ice you will not uh, break the ice uh, you know without any physical um, you know uh, uh, any any physical connection or any any kind of uh, you know um, breaking uh, you know uh, if you are not having a, a conversation or not smiling at someone you will not be breaking the ice okay that's very important okay so now you start a conversation conversation could be anything but uh, always that uh, ambience where you are make sure that that is where you start a conversation or you take that into consideration when you start a conversation so that means a birthday party then that birthday party should be the starting point okay now if you are in a shopping mall uh, or a in a shopping center or a uh, or a supermarket then supermarket is for example you, you are picking up a cheese and you have someone you know you see someone you know next uh, next to you on a cheese aisle so what do you do then okay you can start a conversation okay uh, hey yeah uh, you know have you tried uh, you know that cheese uh, you know this is uh, organic cheese uh, you know have you ever tried that you know what what happens you know you can smile you are saying that that person may say you know, no i haven't tried or you know say yes i tried that is good but if that person what it that happens here is you are breaking the barrier now and this uh, it may lead to a conversation which is most of the time it leads to if the person is not in a good mood it may happen that a person is deeply in thoughts and uh, you know that person uh, is not feeling like talking to anyone then that's fine because you know um that day situation that point situation uh, you know you don't know so that means you started to have a conversation that person uh, is not uh, you know in a mood uh, you can control that other person's mood but you tried your part and then that person uh, you know may not uh, reciprocate and that's fine you, can, you just move on but you did your part okay so establishing a new connection is when you uh, break the ice and start a conversation how does it happen in online you start a conversation by connect sending a connection request you you know 
um you uh, you know got someone's uh, so you got uh, connected with someone then you start to talk about you know that person okay so it's not about you it's about that other person it's not about me but the other person okay so that means what do i do then? online hey uh, for example i got con somebody connected uh, uh, you know connected with someone in uh, linkedin hey john uh, you know uh, nice to be connected with you i see on your profile that you are into also into it or you are uh, working in this and that okay that it means you know that's my my kind of background so that's why i put it it may be a, you are a teacher uh, or you, the person who you are con uh, interacting with uh, is a teacher so that's a profession you're talking your profession why profession again linkedin is a professional uh, you know um, uh, web portal for professional networking okay so that's where you start a conversation from that profession itself but for example so you've got somebody uh, connected on a facebook group okay now Facebook group, let's say Facebook group, again, has different objective. Facebook group, let's say, uh, you know, for um, health, uh, you know, like say, you know, diabetes, uh, you know, or um, fitness health group, or whatever, different health, uh, different uh, groups. So you start a conversation based on the, 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 um, the background of that uh, group, okay? What does that group stand for, okay? So it's always very important. The starting a conversation from where, you know, where you met that person and, the, you know, the common thing, okay? And the most common thing in any country you go is the weather, okay? So that means if you don't find anything about it and you are outside, uh, what do you do? You talk about weather, oh, okay, it's raining. Oh, uh, again, it's raining, okay? Now uh, it's sunny. Oh wow, it's a wonderful weather. It's, it's sunny. Oh, it's too hot. Okay, oh, whatever people uh, you know appreciate or people you know complain, uh, you can start a conversation based on that as well. Okay, so establishing a connection. That means when you are starting a conversation, and then what you are doing is not you are talking about you, but you are talking about that other person. Hey, how is it going? You know, how, how do you live around here? Or you know, uh, did you like this product? Or uh, you know. Uh, your son live so you are talking about that person not about you and then if that person reciprocates then you take the uh, take it to the next level where you will be stay uh, next level is you are sharing your story what is that story so in a conversation okay uh, it may dry as well after a certain time you know this if this person may ask you back and may not okay so if it asks you back okay that okay uh, you know yes uh, you know for example you have to know how to uh, you know, lead a conversation, okay? Do not ask a question like yes and no type of question which breaks a, a conversation or, uh, you know, which ends a conversation, okay? It should be, it should be an open-ended. So that means, you know, it, it should keep, uh, you know, it should be going on, okay? So that's, that's quite, quite important. So, um, uh, so that means asking about, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, yes and no question may not, lead a conversation for a longer duration of time it may it may start a conversation but may not lead okay very important that you uh, ask on open-ended questions okay uh, where you know you are asking that person for his or her opinion and uh, you know asking about that person and that a person can engage in a conversation really in depth okay and then usually the person what's you back what do you do or where do you live or what about your kids or whatever you know um, you know your profession okay how about your uh, fitness and those things you know any any questions relating to that what you ask usually they ask you back and then you happen to um, talk and share about your story but here comes an important tip here when you are sharing your story Again, you have to be smart enough to connect in your story, okay, to the next story, which is about your uh, business, okay. So that means, how do you connect? So everything I uh, I try to connect with my with my business in such a way that the person doesn't feel like you know um, I am bringing my business in. For example, let's say I, on a on a, a LinkedIn platform, okay, I'm talking to someone and uh, you know. Um, I asked him, okay, what do you do? This guy said, okay, I'm into, um, uh, I work in IT. And then he asked me what, what exactly you do. I said, okay, I'm also into IT. My background is also information technology. I used to work for, you know, um, this, 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 these are the companies I used to work for. And then I say that, okay, but along with my IT career, um, also I am a success, uh, I have a successful online business as well, okay? Then I do not talk more about my business again. 
what is very important that you do not talk more about yourself god has given you two ears and one mouth for a reason and the reason you is you listen more and talk less okay so then i briefly but i definitely tell about my business let's take an example in a birthday party i met someone okay starting a conversation i am just talking about the birthday party about the you know his or her kid and then i just take it to the next level hey what do you do okay no i am a uh, i am a doctor I, I am a care worker um, you know i am uh, you know an accountant or whatever that is okay. then I said okay if that person asks me back about what do i do then i have an opportunity to talk about my business but if he doesn't ask they say okay oh, that's wonderful okay as a matter of fact i worked with few people from your your background in my business wow so that means what you did is uh, you are saying that if somebody is a doctor you you work with few people who are doctor so you must be wondering okay am i lying because i may not have any doctor in my business no no you are not lying what you are doing is through your network marketing company okay with uh, you know thousands and millions of people all around the world in network marketing uh, business and your company there is definitely i know for sure there would be people who are doctor who are engineer who are similar profession like the other person okay so that is what i'm trying to convey that i work with you few people you know um uh, you know with a similar background like you so okay so that means in the network marketing industry i work with people okay because network marketing is such a huge industry okay or with my own company which i started uh, you know which i am associated with you know i work with a few people from from your background so that i have seen it works miracles okay and then you used to say the story and then uh, you know you are taking that to the next level where you are talking about the possibility so that means you are saying or keeping that door, door open so that that person knows that there is a possibility that he or she can also or be involved in the industry or in the business or the entrepreneurship journey what you have so i keep it open so that means that person if he is ambitious is looking for something uh, looking into entrepreneurship then he may ask if he is not ambitious is not looking for entrepreneurship opportunities they may not ask okay that is also fine should be fine for me okay but i definitely should now connect with uh, and, you know or convey my message about that possibility of partnership how do i convey that very simple okay if somebody say that okay um you know that uh, you know i am into it as well but what about you i said okay i have uh, you know i am background is also it but i also have a very successful online business of mine i work with few people from your background and then if the person asks me okay what is that all about then i'll take it to the next level if it doesn't ask me as well that is the time when i say that, okay as a matter of fact just uh, you know uh, out of uh, you know you just just wanted to find out that okay, okay. are you just like me as well looking for uh, avenues to uh, you know diversify do you do you have anything in the side or you know you are quite occupied with your own job a lot of time people say i have seen that as well okay one of my biggest business somebody i asked this question he said okay yes absolutely i'm looking for something man man for a long time um uh, what have you got okay what is that you are you just mentioned about a business what is that you do i would love to know about it and that is where you getting that person to the next level but letting uh, or letting him know that is a possibility that he can also look into the opportunity okay so that is that is quite powerful so this is one way of uh, you know putting it across uh, you know uh, that uh, i work with few people from from your background okay or you can share your story okay i i have always been looking for you know along with my it career you know um i always wanted to diversify my income that's where i you know i also you know i just got started into another uh, online business of mine okay so that is where you know the conversation leads to a possibility for a partnership okay so hope it made sense to you uh, those of you do not know me my name is som som prakash i am a business coach and a mentor and uh, you know i am also a network marketer i read, uh, wrote this book called launch to leadership uh, you know uh, this is a complete guide for people who wanted to uh, um, launch their own network marketing business or they are looking into what kind of a business they want to start uh, this book you know it's a 200 pages book but it is a guide for everyone and this is completely free i am giving it out to people um you know for completely free so that you can uh, you know uh, learn 
about how you can build a successful online business because about myself, me and my wife together, we have built a good size business, which is now spanning across, you know, around seven different countries in four continents. And we are excited about, you know, the future in our business. Uh, and we are looking forward to help a lot of people as well with our knowledge, our wisdom, whatever we know to change other people's lives. So if you are also interested, so click the, uh, you know, button below to, you know, download, uh, you know, the, uh, the ebook okay not the physical book uh, you know you can't download it but uh, you can definitely download the ebook and uh, read through it if you have any questions feel free to message me and connect with me uh, my connection details as well in the book there but start to read and implement and start let's start a build, start to build a big business together that i am done and over and out until the next video